hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing here i talk about all things luxury and how to enjoy and use them uh, and purchase them mindfully um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to my channel press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my new uh, video uploads it really means a lot to me uh, as i grow my very small channel um, now today i want to share with you uh, a follow-up review uh, update because i have purchased uh, finally a uh, insert for my Hermes her bag uh, 31 in blue tempe noir colorway um, if you haven't seen that video i will uh, post the link up on the screen as well as down in the comment section um, so i have been um, avoiding to use the bag until i've actually uh, got an insert this is just a random insert i bought on etsy by jenny craft i have not used her insert before uh, to be honest i am not an expert in different types of insert i basically just get anything really um that is uh specific to the bag type and um yeah look for me i just think this is a you know it's a liner for the bag so that things don't spill inside maybe there are more i guess uh specific requirements as i get a bit more i guess um knowledgeable in the world of uh, in bag inserts but really for me um it really just yeah function as a way of keeping things tidy um, as well as uh, avoiding stains inside the bag um, maybe it shapes uh, a certain bag and that's very uh, important um, but for me it's not really so much the shape um, it's more the corners protecting the corners being worn out by you know things uh, pointing uh, from inside the bag um, look the the scratch is still here uh, if you've seen my unboxing video you'll know the story behind this scratch um, and you know I don't mind it as much because now I look at the scratch there's a story behind it uh, it gives the bag meaning um, I don't I intend to ever sell my bags um, so they're for me to keep for a lifetime and so adding little stories behind the bag just i guess gives a character doesn't it so here's the inside of the bag look there there is a um sort of inbuilt uh strap that is attached to the pouch i don't know whether i don't think it can be removed i wouldn't try otherwise i'll add more stories to this bag i don't want to do that one is enough uh, i'll see whether the insert will just um fit in there uh with the strap sort of um attachment at balfour so that it doesn't get caught or squashed uh look yeah no i think the designer of the insert uh has thought this through and so the um height of the insert just sits uh below where that pouch strap is attached to so it doesn't get in the way um of putting the insert in there and here we go so with the insert in the pouch still fits in um so yeah i guess some will probably oh look with the insert in i think it stands better whereas previously the back um, because it is um fabric canvas um it it doesn't really um sit properly but now with i think the insert inside that provides a bit more of a space um a flatter base a more structured and sturdy base um, the bag now can stand up on its own uh, when uh, you put it uh, on a flat surface so that's nice um, that's an added bonus that i haven't considered as i said i've not really used this bag um until i've you know purchase the um the insert i thought i will um 
you know, share this online and then actually start f- putting things into it and, you know, uh, showing how it actually uh, sits on my body when I wear it. Um, I'm loving, loving the color. Um, I think, yeah, it will match so many. Uh, it will just basically w- match into my wardrobe because I'm gradually, slowly rebuilding my wardrobe um, according to um, my skin undertone uh, sort of color match. Um, I've done a color analysis um, and I am of a true winter uh, skin tone and so I now know um, sort of what color palette and what types of colors um, actually suit uh, my skin uh, color tone and so yeah I think you know this will definitely um, be able to just fit into my wardrobe nicely as long as I follow um, that type of palette and you know there's a lot of misunderstanding um, of colors um, because people feel you know if you're cool tone you can only kind of do blues and um, blacks and grays that's not true Um, you know you you can actually do reds and greens and um, for me I avoid yellow um, because it just clash with my true winter uh, tone. I think yellow is one of those colors that um, is difficult to to match um, all the other uh, true winter tone colors. But basically anything else goes as long as you find the tri- right hue and the right tone of that color. So here you can see, um, yeah, different ways of styling it. You can have it on the crypt of your arm. Uh, You can do it handheld, although the strap is probably a bit annoying when you do it handheld. And shoulder strap, um, as a shoulder strap. And also cross body again I don't think it is as nice cross body I think definitely uh, crook of the arm or shoulder strap is the way to wear this bag the best in terms of utility convenience and comfort now here I've got my other blue or teal color um, tote bag uh, from Mark Jacobs that I use as a rainy day tote or you know for when I need to go to places and be a bit less high key uh, I don't think I ever dress high key but you know less less dressed up um, sort of more casual occasions or places where I anticipate having to put my bag down on different services um, so yeah I'll transfer items across and see how um, it all fits in the new her bag. Um, so I've got my sanitizer there. Um, I love the shape of that sanitizer bottle because um, it's just slim and fits nicely into smaller bags. Um, pocket tissue. Um, just this case because I'm using the phone to film at the moment so that also fits nicely in there if I want to although I would think actually uh, for the phone um, just for convenience of getting in and out my phone I think the back pocket is probably a good place for it um, for easy access and also for me to be able to hear and feel the vibration of the of the phone a bit easier my beloved Hermes lipstick 
I just love 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 this so much um, I hope I can get the refill uh, when I'm finished up with this uh, lipstick because the color is so beautiful on my skin um, I always get comments um, of how beautiful my lipstick shade is um, my wallet um, and the comments of the lipstick shades actually come from um, Chanel sales assistants funnily enough whenever I walk into the store uh, I think for added security my wallet I'll put into the zip uh, pouch uh, my car keys and uh, fob uh, my key fob and my house key um, yeah also fits nicely into the pockets of the inserts um, although should I for easy access should I put in there no actually it wouldn't work because the back pocket is uh, very slim um, whereas my keys are all very chunky um, so yeah I think I'll go into the main compartment There we go. So I guess one thing I find, um, which is probably a downside um, as I'm filling the bag, as you can see here, um, I need to, I need to sort of pull the flap up um, as I fill up the bag, and because the bag, um, you know, it does stand on its own, but I think there's a bit of a balancing act for it to stand properly and sort of when I'm putting things in and out um, that balance uh, is lost and so it just doesn't stand right um, so I guess that's one of the con of the her bag or any bag that is not um, structured in terms of having a very flat base is and also a, you know a hand a, a top flap um, is that yeah you will need to constantly kind of pull the flap up to open the compartment so that you can put things inside um, so I guess that's one of the downside here it is uh, f everything fits in there um, and much more uh, so I don't carry a lot uh, when I go out unless it's uh, rainy days and I would have an extra umbrella fold up umbrella and I think that would fit also neatly into this bag um, look excuse my fumbling because as I said I've not used this yet so it does take me a little bit of time to get it right again And here it is. Look, hands free. Now with items inside to weight it down, it does sit. Um, and now this is on my body with contents inside. Look, uh, one thing is, I have to say is, yeah, look, uh, shoulder strap is easier, nicer than a crossbody. Um, crook of the arm works well as well but you know uh, definitely the strap would fully be falling down um, and can tell uh, it probably does look best as a shoulder bag and I have to say uh, because it's doesn't the bag is so lightweight uh, it actually feels very comfortable on the shoulder um, and there is something about this shoulder strap like it being um, a bit more stiff and a bit more structure it actually holds very well on my shoulder one thing I don't like about shoulder bag is actually the straps of shoulder bags often slide off my shoulder because my shoulder is not very broad um, and you know a typical Asian frame it actually uh, the shoulder doesn't you know it doesn't it, it's got a more of a slant to it and so 
the straps of her shoulder bags often slide off with time especially when there are uh, items that weight down the bag um, but this one so far it actually sits very nicely uh, on my um, shoulder without sliding off um, sorry I've just got a bit of hair caught into that um, opening and yeah it's easy enough for me to get my phone in and out of the back pocket when I need to uh, re uh, you know answer a phone call quickly so that's easy and um, yeah and I think also with the shoulder with strap the um, oh he sorry the clochette with the keys there's a decorative so it's kind of like a bag charm I'm not too sure whether I will continue to style the bag with with this to be honest I'm more of a minimal kind of not too much happening dangling type of girl when it comes to handbags um, yeah so I am not too sure whether I would just want to remove it and um, you know have the lock at the back to decorate or you know I mean it does look nice with the clochette at the front it all depends on once I really start get getting to use this bag whether I would actually want it in front to be in the way um, and also it I don't know whether it will eventually make some line on the canvas um, at the front as it sort of as the clochette piece swings um, when I walk around I don't know and yeah look um, I think it does need getting used to if I want to fully close the bag completely um, but I know most people carry this bag without fully closing it so easy access and you know some people just leave it open like this although maybe not too safe and um, most people just kind of clip it once or just you know push the flap in without um, putting those little um, I don't know what they call these little flaps of leather um, into the middle um, buckle I'll just call it buckle I don't know if you know the 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 proper way of naming these little two straps uh, please comment down below and educate me um, it's very elegant looking um, yet casual uh, it's not very dressed up um, type of uh, handbag and you know the capacity I'm very happy with um, and it doesn't look overwhelming on my frame despite it have having a pretty good capacity I am 165 centimeters tall um, so yeah love it and um, if you've enjoyed this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you like the type of my videos in my channel uh, please uh, subscribe it really helps me um, out and encourage me to continue to post videos and till next time I see you take care bye